Hey, what's up, YouTubers? And welcome back to another Toddy Walnuts collection overview video. Today, we are going to go over my Arrow Video and Arrow Academy collection, which will include Amore cases, slip covers, box sets, steel books, and window boxes. We're going to get it all together in one video. And before I do so, I would like to give a shout out and a big congratulations to my dear friend, Curious World, who recently earned his silver play button. And he is closing in on 200,000 subscribers. Um, so I want to congratulate him. I'm going to leave his link down below. Go check him out. Go over to his video and congratulate him. Tell him Toddy Walnut sent you. It's a very very nice milestone for him to hit couldn't happen to a better guy and I really recommend you guys check his channel out if you love documentaries of horror and history um, stuff like that it's a very very good channel so let's get into my arrow collection for the most part these are alphabetized and I mixed in the slip covers with the amory cases and then getting down to about shelf four is when I started to mix in some box sets and at the very bottom, I have some DVDs. I have some steel books over here and the window box editions. So we're just going to kind of fly through here. This is going to be a very long video, so you may want to get a beverage and a snack. Get your slippers on, kick your feet up, and let's go through this here. With the first edition, Alice, Sweet Alice, with a nice slip cover. Very good slasher film starring a young Brooke Shields. Next one is Mario Bava's Baron Blood, which was one of the early releases from Arrow Video. Another slipcover edition. This is Basket Case. Comes with a really nice slipcover, kind of a metallic -y foil. Kind of hard to tell because I have it in plastic. The next one is The Beast Within fun creature feature transformation film. Next one is a Russ Meyer production called Beyond the Valley of the Dolls. Also includes the seven minutes. And this was a limited edition to 3,000 copies. Next one is called The Big Knife. Starring Jack Palance and Shelley Winters. Rod Steiger is in here, film noir. Some black exploitation fun, starring Pam Greer called Black Mama, White Mama. Another Bava classic. This is Black Sabbath. Some Japanese cinema. This is the Black Society trilogy. Directed by Takashi Miike. And here is Blind Woman's Curse. Herschel Gordon Lewis's Blood Feast. Here's a Thanksgiving slasher film called Blood Rage with a slipcover, Blu ray DVD combo. This one is a giallo film called The Bloodstained Butterfly, which is also a Blu-ray DVD combo. Frank Henenlotter's Brain Damage, another beautiful slip. It's a film from the 70s called Bring Me the Head of Alfredo Garcia. There's a Jules Dassin film called Brute Force, starring the great Burt Lancaster. Hume Cronin is also in it. A very fun 80s backwoods slasher, The Burning. There you can see the villain Cropsey with his hedge trimmers full of blood. Here is Burnt Offerings, Blu-ray DVD combo. Here is the car. 
another giallo film, Sergio Martino's The Case of the Scorpion's Tail. Here is a French Western called Cemetery Without Crosses. First time on Blu-ray, beautiful release. Another nice slipcover edition of Children of the Corn. Here's a horror slasher that takes place in the winter, wintry setting, the chill factor. Here's a creature feature film called Chud, Cannibalistic Humanoid, Underground Dwellers. Little creatures in rubber suits, fun watch from the 80s. Here is the City of the Dead. Some trauma goodness here, class of Newcomb High. Joe D'Alessandro's The Climber. Still have yet to watch this one, heard good things about it. Some more sexy Foxy Pam Greer in Coffee. One of her best roles, in my opinion. Here is Contamination with a beautiful slipcover. Here's Doom Asylum. This was also released by Code Red several years ago. Underrated film, I think. Kind of a low buck, fun film, fun watch. This was a Barnes & Noble exclusive, I believe, called Cinema Paradiso from Arrow Academy with a nice slipcover. Here is a crime film called Crimes of Passion, starring Anthony Perkins and Kathleen Turner. Comes with that nice slipcover. Really nice color scheme on the front. Some more Japanese cinema, Dark Water. Blu-ray DVD combo. Here is kind of a extras Blu-ray. This was also in a box set. Um, this is the David, Cronen David Cronenberg's early works, Transfer from the Drain, Stereo, and Crimes of the Future. And I'm looking through my collection really quick. I think this one came with the Videodrome. We'll get to that. Down the, down the road here. A really good spaghetti western starring Lee Van Cleef and Giuliano Gemma called Day of Anger. Here's a nice little set called Dead or Alive which comes with three films, Dead or Alive, Dead or Alive 2 Birds, or Dead or Alive Final. Another Takashi Miike trilogy. Next one is called Dead End Drive-In, and I have yet to watch that one. Heard it was not that great, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Fun little horror film from the 80s, Wes Craven's Deadly Blessing. This is one of Arrow's later releases. This was released a few months ago. This is called Deadly Manor, kind of middle of the road. I still had fun with it, and it was a good watch. Klaus Kinski plays the bad guy, a Joe D'Amato film called Death Smiles on a Murderer. Here's an action film starring Chuck Norris and Lee Marvin called The Delta Force. This movie here is based on the true life of Ed Gein. And this, to me, in my opinion, is probably the most accurate about his life. Serial killer Ed Gein. 70s gangster film based on the life of John Dillinger, called Dillinger. Spaghetti Western, Django, Prepare a Coffin. Fun watch. Some more Japanese cinema. I have yet to watch this one as well. This one is called Doberman Cop. I believe this is a Japanese release. I could be wrong about that. Yeah, this is a, a Japanese film. We 
have some Italian horror here from Fulci. Don't torture a duckling. A Brian De Palma film called Dress the Kill. I really enjoyed this one. Abel Ferrara's Driller Killer. Another fun watch. And the last one on the top shelf is Toby Hooper's Eaten Alive, if I can get it out. And that's a really nice cover. A big rubber killer crocodile. And there's a young Robert England in here who plays Buck. <laughs> you guys all know that line by now. So that was shelf one. Let us get into shelf two. Before we get into shelf two, if you guys would like to help me grow my channel, please consider giving it a thumbs up. The more interaction I have on my channel, the more apt YouTube is to share my videos. So that would be a big plus for me and I would very much appreciate it. So let's get into the second shelf here. The first one is Edge of the Axe, which I thought was a pretty decent slasher film. I had fun with it. It's not a great movie, but it was definitely a fun watch. Next one is Evil Ed, a very bizarre movie. Still, I had a good time with it. It was a fun watch. This is Franco Nero in a giallo film called The Fifth Chord. That is the Italian cover and the Italian title. Mario Bava's Five Dolls for an August Moon. That's a pretty cool cover. The next one is called The Forbidden Photos of a Lady Above Suspicion, filmed by Luciano Ercoli, and this is one I have yet to watch. But I am looking forward to checking that out. Here's another Jack Hill black exploitation film starring the lovely Pam Greer, Foxy Brown, another one of her iconic roles. Either that or Coffee is her favorite, is her best role, I think. Next one is Brian De Palma's The Fury. Blu-ray DVD combo. Another Lee Van Cleef Spaghetti Western called The Grand Duel. Fun watch. Here's a sci-fi film called The Giver. Beautiful slip. This is a Fritz Lang film called Hangmen Also Die. German. Very trippy Japanese film called The Happiness of the Katakuris, directed by Takashi Miike. This was a very limited edition called Hell Comes to Frog Town. I believe this one was limited to a thousand copies and then they re-released it. And this one also, Hellgate, was limited to 1,000 copies. Here's an American Western starring the great Peter Fonda and Warren Oates called The Hired Hand. Fun watch. That was from Arrow Academy. Here is Horror Express starring Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing. Also Telly Savalas. Solid film. Here's another Japanese horror film called Horrors of Malformed Men. It's a pretty cool cover. Really like that. 80s werewolf film called Howling 2. Christopher Lee is in this one and the sexy Sybil Danning. She looks great in that movie. Here's a movie I had a lot of fun with. This is a modern horror film called Incident in a Ghost Land. I just watched this within the last probably in the, within the last year I watched this. Um, I was pretty surprised how good it was. Next one is called The Incredible Melting Man, Splatter Flick. Fun watch, not a great movie, but still fun. Here's the remake of Invasion of the Body Snatchers from 1978. Here's a satanic possession type film called The Initiation. Um, it says Kelly's sorority sisters have a special initiation in store for her and her fellow pledges. Um, I believe this is a slasher, not a possession film. This is one I have yet to watch. I think I watched it, but it doesn't really ring a bell. So I think this is a slasher, not a possession film. Somebody can correct me down below. 
Here is a another Italian giallo. This is the iguana with the tongue of fire. What an awesome title. Here's an Alfred Hitchcock movie called Jamaica Inn, starring the great Charles Lawton and Maureen O'Hara. This is a new 4K scan of the film. Love that cover too. Here's a movie called JD's Revenge. Another spaghetti western starring Franco Nero called Kioma. This is an upgrade for me. I also have the DVD. Here's Mario Baba's Kill Baby Kill. Very good film. Very fun watch. Here's some silly popcorn movie, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Fun watch. Here is Don Siegel's The Killers. Very enjoyable film. I love that movie. And here is Stanley Kubrick's The Killing, another excellent movie. This is underrated. I really recommend grabbing and watching this one. It's a very good film. It's about a bank heist. Um, not a bank heist. I think it's a uh, racetrack that they rob. But there's Betrayal. It's a re really good storyline. Fun watch. Here's George A. Romero's Night Riders. Not one of his better ones, but still a fun watch. Here is The Big Feast. I think it's pronounced La Grande Buffet. Still have yet to watch this one, but I have heard good things about it. This one is called La Sassino. Still have yet to watch that one too. Here is Wes Craven's The Last House on the left. And David Hess plays a crazy villain like he always does, and that's a great movie. Here's Toby Hooper's Life Force. Look at that cover. That is a thing of beauty. Would love to have that poster. Here's Madhouse. Another great cover. Here's an 80s backwoods slasher, Madman. Madman Mars there in the background. And some more Japanese cinema, Massacre Gun, Blu-ray DVD combo. This movie right here is absolutely ridiculous, but I'm glad to own it. It's ma uh, microwave, ma uh, microwave Massacre, if I could talk right. <laughs> here is some Italian action called Milano Calibro 9, and that is directed by Fernando De Leo. Here is a horror comedy called Motel hell and that's another beautiful cover buddy cooper's back with slasher the mutilator by sword by pick by axe bye bye here's john ford's american western my darling clementine starring the great henry fonda hugo stiglitz in the Terrible movie, Nightmare City, but this is a movie that's so bad it's good, and I'm glad to own this. I own this one a couple different times. Here is Naked City. Kind of a film noir. I think this is from the 50s. And I don't want to waste too much time looking for the year. So we will keep moving on. This is a movie called The Navigator, A Medieval Odyssey. I watched this, I was very impressed. You know, I, I went into this blind, I never heard of this movie before. And it's about um, a group of, a village of people, medieval people, who time travel and go to the future. And I thought it was gonna be a comedy, but it wasn't. It was actually a very good adventure film. Here's a comedy horror, oops, um, from the 80s. This is Night of the Comet. Fun watch, cool cover. One of my favorite movies of all time, The Night of the Hunter, starring the great Robert Mitchum. He was a great villain in this movie. Very, very good movie. Another excellent watch. This is an, Amer an American Western called Oxbow Incident. And this one stars Henry Fonda and Henry Morgan, Anthony Quinn. Very, very good watch. And the last one for shelf two is Wes Craven's The People Under the Stairs. Very creepy incest 
um, kind of a hillbilly family that uh, capture and hold hostage people in their basement. So that was the end of shelf two. So I'm going to take a quick break, drink some water, and we will go on to shelf three. So moving right along, the next one is Brian De Palma's Phantom of the Paradise. Eh, wasn't really my thing. I know it's a, it has a big cult following. A lot of people like it. Here's a Spaghetti Western double billing, a pistol for Ringo, and the return of Ringo. Here is Pit Stop. A Jack Hill film. Next one is called Pray for Death, starring Sho Kasugi. Next one is called The Prey. Really nice slipcover on that one. This is a really weird British movie called Psychomania. Didn't really care for that one too much. This one was pretty cool, called The Pajama Girl Case, starring Ray Milland. David Cronenberg's Rabid, very good movie. Brian De Palma, Raising Cain, starring John Lithgow. I recommend this one, good watch. Here's a movie from Scotland, Rawhead Rex. It's either Scotland or Ireland, I apologize. Uh, 4K restoration of a really cool uh, creature feature film. Monster in a Rubber Suit. Here is the Ray Harryhausen Special Effects Blu-ray. Remo Williams, The Adventure Begins. Grew up watching that on HBO. Here is Kill and Prey, which was released by Wild East on DVD, so this is a Blu-ray upgrade. This is Retaliation, Blu-ray DVD combo. Some more silly uh, comedy horror, Return of the Killer Tomatoes. I think George Clooney is in this one. Jules Dassin, Refifi. Pretty cool, pretty fun watch. Um, Runaway Train. I had fun with this, even though I'm not really the biggest Eric Roberts fan. He really annoyed me in that movie, but I still enjoyed it. Satan's Blade was one I had never seen before until Arrow put it out. It's so-so. I, I enjoyed it, and I'm glad they did put it out because I, I do like to watch slasher films. Even though it's not a great one, it's still a fun watch. Here's Scared Stiff with a nice slipcover. This one is called Schlock, a film by John Landis. Here is The Serpent's Egg, starring David Carradine, filmed by Ingmar Bergman. I think this is uh, Brian De Palma Sisters. This one is called The Slayer. Fun watch, kind of a uh, remote island uh, killer. A bunch of people, I think they fly into a remote island. And there's a mansion on the island. They start getting picked off one by one. Here's a good creature feature film, Slugs. Cool cover. Jack Hill's Spider Baby. You can see a very young Sid Hag in this movie. Let's see if we can see him on the back. No, we can't. But you can see him there. Fun watch. Another creature feature film, Squirm. The ground is energized by a lightning storm and night crawlers and worms turn into flesh-eating monsters. Here is Larry Cohen's The Stuff, another silly horror film, horror comedy. This is Strip Nude for Your Killer. Sergio Martino's The Suspicious Death of a Miner. Here is Uli Lamel's Tenderness of the Wolves, based on a serial killer. Dario Argento's Tenebrae, great film. Here's another American Western called Terror in a Texas Town, a revenge film. Very enjoyable. I really love that movie. I watched this and the Oxhorn Incident, the Oxbow Incident, um, together in a twin billing one night, and it was a really good watch. Another excellent film is Thief, starring James Caan, filmed by Michael Mann. Jules Dassin's Thieves Highway, starring Richard Conti. Trapped Alive. People are 
being picked off one by one in a mine by a sadistic madman. This one is called The Untamed. The Visitor. We Are the Flesh. What Have They Done to Your Daughters? Della Mano film. What Have You Done to Solange? Who Dares Wins? The Wild Geese, All-Star Cast, Richard Harris, Roger Moore, Richard Burton. Fun watch. Some more British goodness. With Nail and I. There's Wolf Guy. And now we're starting to get into some of the box sets here. This is An American Werewolf in London, filmed by John Landis. And this is the big box set of Battle Royale, limited edition. I think this was limited to 10,000. So that is the end of shelf three. Let us move on to shelf four. The next one is George A. Romero's Between Night and Dawn. These are the movies that he directed between Night of the Living Dead and Dawn of the Dead, which include The Crazies, Season of the Witch, and There's Always Vanilla. Nice box set. Next one is Beyond the Door. I would have never thought that this movie would get such a beautiful release, but it did, and I'm glad to own it. Next one is Edgar Allan Poe's Black Cats, consists of two movies. Sergio Martino's Your Vice is a Locked Room, and Only I Have the Key, and Fulci's The Black Cat also comes with a nice book. Another beautiful release, Candyman. Fulci's City of the Living Dead. Argento's The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. Sorry if I'm going through these too fast, but I have a lot of shelves, and if I try to get them done in 10 minutes or less, it's going to be still be a, like an hour-long video. So, Next one is called Bloodbath. Um, this movie wasn't really that great. I can't say I recommend that one. Next one is The Blood Hunger. Films of Jose Larraz, you get Whirlpool, The Coming of Sin, and Vampires. And this nice, beautiful set. I do recommend this one. Nice edition here of Carrie. Argento's The Cat O9 Tales. This is Guillermo del Toro's Crimson Peak. Excellent edition. Two different editions of Creepshow 2. You get the red and the purple. One is the US and one is the Canadian release. The next box set here is Death Walks Twice. Two films by Luciano Ercoli. Death Walks on High Heels and Death Walks at Midnight. Beautiful set. Some good giallo films. Here's Argento's Deep Red. One is the US edition that comes in a hard shell. The other is the UK edition that comes in a softer box. And this one does include the third disc, which is the CD soundtrack. Next one here is uh, Bootgerites, the Der Todes King. Still have yet to watch that movie, but it looks pretty cool. Here is the first edition of Django. And it also includes Texas Adios. Next box set is Donnie Darko. Very good movie. You get two different cuts. You get the director's cut and a theatrical cut plus a book. Very good movie. Here is the complete Dr. Fibes. And this is limited to 3,000. You get the abominable Dr. Fibes. Dr. Fibes. Um, rises again, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and you get a 100 page book starring the great Joseph Cotton. 
Here is the Female Prisoner Scorpion set, the complete collection. You get a bunch of movies. I still have to uh, dive in this one, but you get Female Prisoner Scorpion, the complete collection. It's a book, and then you get Grudge Song, Beast Stable, Jailhouse 41, and number 701 Scorpion. This was limited to 4,000. And the last one on shelf four is Hellraiser 1, 2, and 3 in this nice box. And they're a little bit out of order there. You got Hellraiser, Hellraiser 3, and Hellraiser 2. This is a cool little set. So that is the end of shelf four. And continuing on, we will dive into shelf five, more box sets. The first set on shelf five is the Hellraiser Scarlet box, which includes Hellraiser, Hellraiser 2, and Hellraiser 3 Hell on Earth. This is the big Scarlet box. I got this one signed by Doug Bradley. Next one is Wes Craven's The Hills Have Eyes. And The Hills Have Eyes Part 2, which is definitely not as good as the first one, but it's still a fun watch. I enjoy it. Next one is the House Collection. You get House, House 2, The Second Story, The Horror Show, and The Repossession. They all come on their own cases, plus it comes with a beautiful book. Next one is Kobayashi's The Human Condition Trilogy. Still have to dive into this one, but this one will take a lot of time to get through. We have Maraglia's Killer Dames box set, which includes The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave and The Red Queen Kills Seven Times. So you get each, each movie comes in its own Amory case plus a book. This one, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. This one was also released by Criterion in the U.S. This is basically just a documentary with some very uh, beautiful scenes of nature and foreign countries and stuff like that. The next box set is called The Long Good Friday in Mona Lisa. And you get a book and extras. It's a six disc special edition, Blu-ray DVD combo. Next one is Visconti's Ludwig. Get a couple cuts of the movie and a book. One of my favorite sets in my collection, the four Marx Brothers at Paramount from 29 to 33. You get the coconuts, animal crackers, monkey business, horse feathers, and duck soup. This is one I definitely recommend, plus you get a nice book. We have Bootgreit's Necromantic and Necromantic 2. Outlaw Gangster VIP, the complete collection, which includes Gangster VIP, Gangster VIP 2, Heartless, Goro the Assassin, Black Dagger, and Kill. Comes in this nice digipack style packaging. Here's Argento's Phenomena, beautiful box set. You get a couple different cuts of the film plus a book. Here's Reanimator, one of my favorite movies. Comes in a digipack with a comic book. Here's Bride of Reanimator. And Brian Usna's Society, very odd movie. And the last one on this shelf is Stray Cat Rock which includes Delinquent Girl Boss, Wild Jumbo, Sex Hunter, Machine Animal, and Beat 71. And this was limited to 2,000 copies. Continuing on, we have the Taviani box set. Paolo and Vittorio, Taviani, which includes Padre Padron, The Night of the Shooting Stars, and Chaos. They all come in their own case, and there's a nice book. All 2K restorations, I believe. Next 
one is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, one of my favorite movies. A good blend of horror and dark comedy. John Carpenter's The Thing, very good sci-fi horror film. David Cronenberg's Videodrome, very fun watch. Vincent Price, Six Gothic Tales, which includes Fall of the House of Usher, The Pit and the Pendulum, Tales of Terror, The Raven, Tomb of Lagaya, and The Haunted Palace, plus a nice book. Here is the Phantasm set, Don Coscarelli. Also comes with the Sphere. And in this set you get Phantasm 1979, the 2016 remaster. You get Phantasm 2 from 1988. Phantasm 3, Lord of the Dead from 1994. Phantasm 4, Oblivion from 1998. And Phantasm Ravager from 2016, plus a bonus disc with a feature length documentary and other stuff on there. It's really cool. Really nice addition. Here is the Complete Sartana box of Spaghetti Westerns. You can light the fuse. Sartana is coming. Have a good funeral, S my friend. Sartana will pay. Sartana is here. Trade your pistol for a coffin. I am Sartana, your angel of death. And if you meet Sartana, pray for your death. Plus comes with a book. Really nice addition. Here is the Rainier Werner Fassbender collection. This one has the early works, The Merchant of Four Seasons and Beware of a Holy Whore, The Marriage of Maria Braun, Fox and His Friends and Chinese Roulette, Effie Briest, Fear Eats the Soul, The Bitter Tears of Petra von Kant, and a book. It's a really nice set. So getting into some DVDs now. This is called The X Rental. It's made to look like it's beat up, like it's been rented, but it's in really good condition. It contains six films. You get uh, Maniac Cop, The Cheerleaders, Penitentiary, McBain, and there's two others. Penitentiary 2 and Revenge of the Cheerleaders. And they come on for Amory cases, six movies. It's really cool. Made to look like an old beat up VHS. This is the Arrow Fantastic Factory. This is one of the big window box sets that they have for DVDs. And you get Faust, Love of the Damned, Roma Santa, The Werewolf Hunt, Beyond Reanimator, and Arachnid. And they each come on their own in their own case inside. And the next one and last one for this shelf, you get Terror at the Opera, The Stendhal Syndrome, Sleepless, and The Card Player. This is called the Dario Argento Neo Giallo Collection. Another beautiful set. So that was the end of that shelf. We still have three more shelves to go. I'm going to go get a drink of water and we'll keep going. So getting right down into the nitty gritty on the last shelf of this particular case is Bayes Moi Arrow DVD. Next one is called Bear Behind Bars. You guys, it might, might sound a little bit different right now because I'm kind of like crouched into the cabinet. Probably sounds a little echoey. Here's Herschel Gordon Lewis, Blood Feast 2. is called Blue Movie Blackmail, but it also has another title, which was called Super Bitch. And that is the Italian cover. Next one is called Christmas Evil. Combat Shock. Wes Craven's Deadly Blessing, beautiful cover. Takashi Miike's Deadly Outlaw Rekka. Deadly Spawn, another great cover. 
Island of Death. Jaguar Lives, starring Christopher Lee and Donald Pleasance. The Kentucky Fried Movie, John Landis Comedy. Macabre, or Macabre, however you pronounce it. George A. Romero's Martin, Vampire Flick. John Russo's Midnight. The Night Child, or AKA The Cursed Medallion. There is Pervert. Spanish Horror Slasher, Pieces, really enjoy that one. Rape Revenge, Savage Streets. Silent Night, Deadly Night. Slaughter High, AKA Jolly Killer. Street Trash. Surf Nazis Must Die. And Two Evil Eyes. I have the American Horror Project, Volume 1, which comes with Malatesta's Carnival of Blood, The Witch Who Came from the Sea, and The Premonition. These are really nice additions. It comes with the book. Here's an American Horror Project, Volume 2, which comes with Dark August, Dream No Evil, and The Child in a book. And Battles Without Honor and Humanity, the complete collection. You get, uh, let's see here. Battles Without Honor and Humanity. I'm trying to do this without the glare on there. Hiroshima Deathmatch, Proxy War, Police Tactics, Final Episode, Battle Without Honor and Humanity, The Complete Saga, and the Yakuza Papers in a book. It's really nice. So that is it for Shelf 1, or Shelving Unit 1, rather. That's all we went through so far. Still have two shelves to go. I'm going to take a quick break, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so here we go into the steel books. First one is Takashi Miike's Audition. Next one is Battle Royale. Fulci's The Beyond. Excellent cover. Great movie. Another fun one. This is John Carpenter's Big Trouble in Little China. Mario Bava's Black Sunday. Mario Bava's Blood and Black Lace. Brian De Palma's Blowout. Very good film. Really enjoy that one. Another one I love. This is The Burbs. Joe Dante film. The Burning. City of the Living Dead. Day of the Dead, Demons 1 and 2 by Lamberto Baba, son of Mario Baba, Abel Ferrara's The Driller Killer, The Fall of the House of Usher, starring the great Vincent Price, oops, I already showed that one, Foxy Brown, The Hills Have Eyes, the original. Argento's Inferno. Invasion of the Body Snatchers, 1978 remake. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And this is the Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Everything blue has the arrow steel book on the inside. A very, very limited piece. It was only limited to 300 pieces. Sold out on pre-order. That's impossible to find now. Here's Lady Snowblood. 
and Lady Snowblood, Love Song of Vengeance. You get the double billing. Toby Hooper's Life Force, Space Vampires. The Long Good Friday. Maniac Cop, William Lustig. Brian De Palma's Phantom of the Paradise. For a guy who doesn't really care for the movie, I sure do have a lot of copies of it. Argento's Phenomena. The Pit and the Pendulum. Porky's. David Cronenberg's Rabid. David Cronenberg's Shivers. Time Bandits, very fun watch. Theater of Blood. The Thing. Tenebrae. White of the Eye. And Zombie Flesh Eaters. So we will get into the very last shelf, which will be the Window Box Editions. So getting into the last shelf, and if you are still with me, I want to thank you very much for tuning in, as you always do, and I want to say hello to my newest subscribers, and thank each and every one of you guys for supporting the channel, giving thumbs up and comments. I really appreciate that. So the last shelf here, we have Battle Royale. These are all window box editions. Mario Baba's A Bay of Blood. And you can see all the different covers and poster comes with these editions. Fulci's The Beyond. The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. Black Sunday. Caligula, Imperial Edition. The Cat O' Nine Tales. City of the Living Dead, 30th Anniversary Edition. Dawn of the Dead. Day of the Dead, Deep Red, Demons, Demons 2, I'm trying to get that without that reflection. I have these in plastic uh, protectors. And the, uh, the flash is pretty brutal on this reflection. This one's called The Exterminator. An over-the-top action movie from the 80s. Fun watch. Forbidden Zone. Frankenhooker. Toby Hooper's The Fun House. The House by the Cemetery. Inferno. Lisa and the Devil. A Mario Bava film. I think that was their very last release that they did in the window boxes. William Lustig's Maniac Cop. Brian De Palma's Obsession, which also comes with a book. Phenomena. Red Scorpion, some more action from the 80s over the top. 
It was, uh, I think this was late 80s, maybe early 90s. Here's Tenebrae. Vamp. I'm not the biggest fan of this movie, and I was never a big fan of Grace, uh, Grace Jones. Very rare, zombie flesh eaters. This was limited to 500 pieces. Right there. And we have some from Arrow Academy. Ashes and Diamonds. These came in the window box as well. Bicycle Thieves. These are more kind of like uh, Criterion type releases. The Conformist. Spirits of the Dead, an anthology. And the last one in my Arrow collection is the Tin Drum. I do have two more box sets I'm going to show you, but those are on the floor. But before we get to those last two box sets, please remember to go over to Curious World's channel and give him some congratulations. It's always good to, to get that interaction with people, and uh, it's a big milestone that he passed. It would mean a lot to me and a lot to him if you guys would do something like that. So let's get into the last two box sets, and then we will wrap this video up. The first box set is the Pieces Puzzle Box. These are kind of too big and awkward to fit on shelves these next two sets here but you get the pieces blu-ray with the 4k transfer great movie and then you get 100 piece puzzle that shows that image right there so although this is a really cool box set it's just not very practical to put on a shelf. So I do keep this in a separate area. And the last one here is the Herschel Gordon Lewis Shock and Gore. This is a huge box set. It's the biggest box set, biggest, heaviest set that Arrow put out to date. I'm going to pause it here and open her up, and we'll check out the inside really quick. So just really quick, I guess. I don't want to spend too much time on this. I have shown this in an unboxing video on my channel. If you'd like to see a more depth um, unboxing, just search that video on YouTube. But it comes with a little vinyl record. Comes with a barf bag. Comes with a digipack style packaging with the movies in it. Comes with a book. Comes with a rubber eye. And it comes with another hardcover book. It's a really beautiful set. And I was lucky enough to get this from filmmaker Tim Sullivan. He didn't give it to me for free, but he gave me a very, very good deal. A deal I couldn't pass up. And this was a very limited edition. And it sold out right away, so I'm glad to have it in my collection. But thank you guys for tuning in and checking out my Arrow video collection. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope I was able to give you guys some suggestions. And if you have any suggestions or comments, please feel free to comment below. I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. And I will see you later.